Damon here with IGN News. Spotting the initial flash of an exploding supernova is extremely rare. NASA has only just managed to do it for the first time. Known as a shock breakout, NASA used the Kepler Space Telescope to capture and analyze the light of 500 distant galaxies every 30 minutes for three years. The international team behind the discovery observed two red supergiants in an attempt to catch the beginnings of a supernova. The first, KSN 2011A, which is 300 times the size of our sun, didn't present the desired shock breakout, while the KSN 2011D, a supergiant about 500 times larger than the sun, did. The early flash only lasted about 20 minutes, and a star was a massive 1.2 billion light years away. The data has helped to support current scientists' models and theories regarding type 2 supernova, explosions from stars that are between 8 and 50 times larger than the sun, but also suggests there are different ways such explosions take place. For example, some scientists think no shock breakout was seen in the smaller of the two supergiants because all the gas surrounding it covered the explosion. The hope is that further use of the Kepler telescope and NASA's K2 mission will lead to more observations and discoveries. This is IGN News.